Ja, ich finde das auch wenn ich das mache, das ist ja Hexi und Fantasticus Konflikte um. Uh, Mr. President, I have to ask you to cease and desist. Cease and desist what? I'm not doing anything. Ectoplasmic emissions clearly indicate a theta level debanishment, sir. As you know, a theta level is particularly risky, and union rules dictate that it may not be performed without a fully certified extraction team. <laughs> I'm the president, I can do what I want. Never a witch, nor man, nor ghoul shall e'er be greater than the pool. Solidarity forever, sir. How many do we need? It depends on the individual skill set, but I bet I can pull together a team within the witching hour. It is the best time for debanishment. And it means time and a half. When a scab dies, he goes to hell, parlez-vous. Literally, they do. Damien Christ, Clyde. The election of the ritual deputy is a very important expression of the democratic process, Mr. President. You know that. You have counted those ballots five times already. To be candid, Roar's intention is less than perfectly clear. Then ask him. Sir, I can't do that. It's secret ballot. Then how do you know the ballot is his? It's a fairly educated guess. Roar. Roar, pay attention. Roar. Who did you vote for? You can't ask him that, sir. Clyde, if, as you explained, the union rules stipulate each theta level debanishment employs at least one differently abled undead, with the understanding that we may need to alter the ritual to accommodate the needs of said specially abled undead, I feel it is understood that the accommodation may include figuring out what the hell his vote means. Now, Roar, where's your crayon? He ate it. Okay. Okay. Roar, point to someone. Me? You, the prophetess, the demon, or the zombie? Undead American. Thanks, Flemmy. Stay sentient, pony boy. Roar, just point to someone. Yes. Okay, Clyde is the deputy. Sadly, no. Roar's vote makes it four to one. Artemis is our new ritual deputy. I foresaw that. So, even with knowing, who Roar voted for, Artemis was going to win anyway. We just spent 30 minutes on that. Democracy can be messy, sir. All right. All right. Are we ready to begin? I see a hole in our circle. A gap in the energy. The magic will not succeed. Why? <laughs> for the love of Lammy. Flammy. Flaming anus. Flammy anus. Dude, a taser? Totes uncalled for. You cannot eat our seer. You heard what she said. It was an honest mistake. That's what your mom said when I had sex with her. Wait. I've noted this in my report. When? I foresaw it. Okay, everyone, just calm down. Can we focus on getting Marguerite back from... Wait. What? What? Union rules. And ye workest eighty through, ye shall rest five times two. No, ye, ye is not workest anything. It's... Why was asleep for the first hour? That is also in my report. What is? So, so, so we're on break now. That's oh. right. And whatever I do now is my own business, yes? This is your time. Can he do that? This is a violation. Irene McCoy. McCoy! Flammy. Artemis. Clyde. Rar. Rar. Yes, Rar. Last time you saw me, I still did have two eyes. Edwin. Been a while. Like a week. We 
which is not to say I am not heartily sorry for sending you to hell for a week. Now, about this union Time's thing... Time's different down there. I've been in hell for months. Nine of them, to be precise. You've been gone for nine months? Not gone for nine months. In hell for nine months. It's the old temporal elongation thing. Stretching out that torment over an eternity. It's actually quite a brilliant idea if you think about it. So I sent you to hell for nine months? Are you sure? Pretty sure. I did not foresee that. Oh, <laughs> 